combined, a group of fantasy authors take on a sadistic games master. Will they survive? Maybe deal with your own problems, buddy. Authors and dragons! Hi there and welcome to Warfers and Dragons and we're doing something a little bit different for the festive season. A classic Christmas crossover special. And uh, we've <laughs> even got a, a guest DM for you. <laughs> Before I introduce the crew, I will introduce our fantastic guest DM, MK Gibson, otherwise known as Gibby, author of Villain's Rule, amongst other things. You can probably buy that in time for the holidays, if you're quick. Please do, my son would like a Christmas this year. <laughs> And even though you can just buy it anytime. <laughs> I mean, no one's stopping you. And uh, you're going to be running a, a special game for us today. Isn't that right, Gibby? Yeah, yeah. My, my buddy Steve reached out to me and said, hey, uh, can you run a game? I'm like, sure. Can you do it by Sunday? I said, no. He came back the next day. Can you do it Saturday? Shit. Well, I'll make it happen. <laughs> so this is your uh, holiday horror adventure. Did you say horror? Horror adventure. Oh boy! No, I, I, every one of my friends accuses me uh, horror, but the way I say it comes off as horror. So <laughs> horror. <laughs> it was, well, it was going to happen no matter how you said it. Yeah, I know who I'm <laughs> playing with, so this is all good. And uh, before we get into the game, who are the players? We've got myself, Steve Weverell, author of The Last Volunteer, The Doomsayer Journeys, and other things. You guys want to introduce yourself? No. Oh. Yes. Hi. I uh, I play Claudia in the Janes, and she she does not have enough vaccines to be mingling with you, um, fellas. <laughs> but I, I usually write the Josie Tucker mysteries in real life, and yeah, happy to be playing. Did you just introduce yourself as "Hey, it's me"? Yes, I was going to say. Are you going to even say the words <laughs> "Em Kaplan" at all? No. Yeah. I know who she is. It's me, Emily Kaplan, known as Em Kaplan. Thank you. Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here. <laughs> uh, today I play the role of Jorcerer the Sorcerer. Uh, in real life, I write the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories, starting with the first book, Critical Failures. Go get that. It is a great book. I really enjoyed those series. Okay. So, with the players from our, our free, I guess, main podcast episodes, The Salty Bastards, the Chronicles of Calamity and the Calamity Janes, uh, mixing in the world of fantasy horror with M.K. Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> holiday horror, all right. <laughs> holiday holiday horror. Oh, this is so exactly how you get diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm excited to see where this goes, so over to you, Gibby. All right. Across the realms of space and time, each one of you in your respective worlds feels a tugging. You go to bed that night, and as oh you drift off, you feel yourself drift away into the ether. Before the game started, we did some rolls. Now, the screen's going to go black for two of you, and I'll switch. you'll see it soon. But uh, the first person will be Claudia. The first thing you feel is dirt. Cold, wet dirt. It's all around you. You reach up instinctually, and your hand breaks through the ground. And you start to pull yourself up onto a snowy, frost-covered ground. Things feel a little different. You feel something's wrong. Like, this is not my skin. Oh. As you slowly pull yourself up out of a grave. Wow. She's used to um, wearing other people's skin, so cool. Well, right now, <laughs> you're wearing nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. But to your right you see a hand pop out of the grave beside you and it appears to be an elfin hand. What do you do? She doesn't even have her hat, her bear hat that she loves, like fresh out of the womb. You look down at the, gra you look down at the graveside and sure as shit it's there because I'll be nice. How's that? Oh, just nice. a hat. <laughs> but beside you, a hand comes out of the ground. Yeah. An elven hand. What do you want to do with that? I'm going to smack it. Yeah, she's going to smack it high five. She's going to be like, yo, and see what happens. Does it move? Yeah. Brandon Thymaster, you feel something slap your hand as you too start to crawl out of the ground near, out of a grave. Don't touch me. <laughs> mm, too late. <laughs> I guess. 
Brandon, you, the, what you're looking at, have you ever seen a turtle before? A turtle? Uh, a human turtle hybrid. Hmm. Has my character seen and or punched one of those? I gotta say no. Well, guess what? Standing in something that has just high-fived your hand was a turtle. Emily, <laughs> you see an elf. A high elf with flowing blonde hair crawl up out of the ground. Well, this is unusual. You're hideous. <laughs> and beside the rest of you, you see a very tiny gnomish hand. A, a forest gnome. Reach its hand up. The rest of you, is that me? Yes. They see wow. your hand come out of the ground. And the great and powerful George of the Sorcerer is in the body of a uh, forest gnome. Ah. It, is he also nude? Oh, all three of you are naked. Oh my. This is very uncomfortable. I'm indecent. Who amongst us has a penis? Who, well, that's, you can roll for that if you want. <laughs> uh, you, well, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, if you wish to be in a different gender, that is your choice. I'm not going to put that on you. Well, I'm in a different <laughs> body. Yes, you're definitely in a different body. Does it have a penis? It does. Does it if have you want a it to be. fantastic red hat? Well, here's the thing. Do you wish to be a male character? Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a gnome. I don't wish to be that, so I don't care. Well, you are a gnome, but I'll, I'll let you have the, ge the gender of your choice. All right. I, I need my wonder, yes. I was going to say, you can't deprive yourself of your only tool. <laughs> yeah, gnome, so give me a d4 plus two. <laughs> Tortellini Claudia is going to hold up her pinky. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Four plus two is six. You have a six inch uh, gnome dong. Wow. Wow, that's pretty Damn. good for a gnome. It's huge for you, exactly. Yeah, on it's, a gnome, that's going to be You're, you're tripping over that thing. So. <laughs> Dragging on the ground. If anything, yeah, it's an inconvenience. <laughs> you might actually pass out from blood loss if you get an erection, so we have to make you a constitution check, so be careful. <laughs> now, what did you say, uh, Claudia, about your uh, tortellini is going to do what? Hold up a pinky. But apparently that's completely... Yeah, yeah, now she's just holding up the entire arm. <laughs> do, do, um, do turtles have a cloaca? What, well, what is... I, in the fan, it, turtles are a, uh, I, I don't know the, whatever you want. Do you want a cloaca or do you want a Long Johnson or Lady Bits? Your call. Um, okay, let's go with just Lady Bits. <laughs> Got it. If turtles had dicks, they definitely would have fucked April O'Neil. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, without a dick. The thing is, like, but like, all your stats stay the same. You know, okay, uh, that's fine. It, you you were just in a. This is just new skin. All your regular stats stay the same. Turtles do get an extra, like I think a unarmored defense of naturally seventeen if you choose. Okay, so that just leaves uh, branded firemaster who's going to look down at his body. Yeah, and presumably there's no way this body is as good as his usual body. Well, it's the same char uh, charisma, constitution, fitness level, everything. It is a. It's 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 a little sleeker. A little, more, a little more Brad Pitt from Fight Club. You know, it's elvish. I guess I can work with this. I mean, this is a good body, but it's not a Brandon Firemaster body. Uh, I don't know who you people are, but this is clearly some kind of weird delusion. This can't be reality, because I am less than perfect. You want to roll for your wang size, too? You can go... Oh, D6 God, plus. I might be, like, really less than perfect. I mean, you, you can, like, just forgo that for the fantasy, but if you want the reality, what, an elf? So, uh, D6 plus 2... D6. Hey, six plus two, so eight. Oh eight inch. There you go. Oh my Fuck. god, we're all doing really well today. <laughs> okay, let's call the game here. I'm happy with this. <laughs> I, I feel like we just entered kindergarten and we're all like examining our parts. And just like, Emily didn't roll for her vagina size. Oh, God. Oh my god. I don't know how that I don't works. Think this is a family game for fuck's sake. We're not doing that. Oh, shit. We're in trouble. Like, we'll, make, we'll make fun of wieners all day long, but like we don't mock that. No, that mean. D20 plus 5. Come on, roll it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess we could go for like, you know, cups. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> you see what you see. You are in the middle of a snowy field. Uh, there's a small cabin around you. Obviously, you see the gravestones around you. High on the hill, there is a, um, uh, a statue. Uh, Claudia, you were the first up. Give me a perception check. 19. Fantastic. Every time these other two came out of the ground, the crystal in that statue's hand flashed. You have to assume it probably did for you as well. Okay. 
Um, and of course, there's a small cabin to your left. Statue. She'd like to go toward the statue to see if the crystal is removable. Go for it. Cool. Okay. Um, how close to the statue can she get? Um, well, if you look around, there's a sta- there's a stairwell that kind of goes up, so you can walk all the way up to it if you want to. Okay. Cool. It's about. Uh, your turtles are probably like they're big, so they're about you're about six feet tall, but that statue's like twelve feet up, so you're gonna need some help. Unless you want to try climbing. Um, yeah, she wants to try climbing because. All right. Uh, it's it's uh, I mean it's it's snowy, uh, slick rock. So give me a. Uh, Turtles uh, are natural climbers. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they also I have mean, little claw. Well, she is still a rogue. Nothing that none of that changes. So, uh, give me a uh, acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Okay. Oh Jesus! You you skim you scurry up that thing like a like a minx. <laughs> like a you, you realize six feet tall. Six feet tall is like the taller than I could ever imagine in real life. So this right. Is- <laughs> I, I've met you in real life. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> You're like the only person I didn't have to scoot the seat forward all four. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, she shimmies up, and yep. um, she would like to try to touch the crystal and see if it, it moves or how big it is. Or it's uh, it's It appears like the statue is holding the crystal, but the crystal was placed after the fact. like So it's kind of like wedged in, like kind of grooves. If you w- if you work at it a little bit, you might be able to get it. So give me an athletics roll. Okay. Swollen a twist. Jesus Christ, you are a beast. Yep, comes right out. Sweet. I'm going to well, move that thing here. Here is, hang on, is it shift Z? I'll say to yep, the gnome. That hideous monster is more agile than I would have expected. <laughs> She's going to wave it at them and say, Ooh, Oh my god, that's gorgeous. It must be the giant like vagina. The... <laughs> <laughs> well, like some kind of suction cup thing. <laughs> and uh, the other two, you are sh- you are shivering in the cold. So uh, uh, like your, your, uh, your, your sixes and eights are respectively starting to shrivel up. So I don't know about you strange newfound friend but i need to find some loose fitting pants but not that loose fitting yeah yeah because claudia has nowhere to store this yeah <laughs> well we didn't roll for the size <laughs> <laughs> well you gotta stick between the cleavage if you want so <laughs> yeah that's good or if okay. i have a shell i guess I have you a have shell. a very fancy uh uh pretty orangey rock nice sweet hey you Weird creatures, look what I got. Oh my. Is, is she calling us weird creatures? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a mirror. I mean, I'm gorgeous. Probably. You can look down at your hands and see <laughs> Tortle. I think oh. you'll find uh, this is my nightmare, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually speak Gnomish. This is an excellent time to uh Now the to question is, does, does Jorsor speak Gnomish? Because he's just in the skin of a gnome. <laughs> Oh God! I'll say a few things to him in Gnomish. Uh, however, that sounds some convoluted French, I suppose. Uda <laughs> Oh, um, I have no idea what he's saying. Uh... Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> I think that was Goblin. I'm sticking this on the map so you have an idea of what a turtle looks like. I was wow. right. It's hideous. I was alive in the nineties. So <laughs> that's roughly what a turtle looks like. I'm gorgeous. You know what? What's your what's your charisma? I have an, an eighteen charisma. You are a gorgeous turtle. <laughs> Not according that's to the icon. Turtle... <laughs> well, th- no, it's all about the it's all about the lashes, really. It's it's got nice lashes. The shell is very shiny. <laughs> you know, it's kind of it's kind of like like a like a little apple shaped shell. I'll say to have you ever met a man called Edgar? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. settle a bet. How many holes do you have? <laughs> well, after this chunk of Himalayan sea salt I'm carrying around, probably one fewer. Okay, well, I heard just the right amount, but I, I was never sure what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Christmas crossover callback. Season nice. two, baby. <laughs> Sweet. This is Ice Day. I don't know what this Christmas is of which you speak. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Uh, Got to keep it inclusive. <laughs> Go with Yule. Ice Day crossover special. There it is. All right, so uh, you've got your orange rock. You're out of the grave. You're. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, 
I think she's just gonna she's gonna hang out, um, kind of clinging to the statue, looking okay. around from the, her vantage point. I mean, there is a cabin that has like lights on on the inside right there. So, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jocera and I are right next to a cabin, and also freezing our dicks back to less impressive sizes. <laughs> Well, less realistic sizes, let's say. I think, look back on your rolls, you guys just ro rolling D4. I don't think you put a slash in there so that you just, ro I think you just rolled a, a four and a six respectively. But you know what? We'll take it. So <laughs> there's no random chance. I it's a the dice button. Oh, then you're then good for you. I didn't, but I didn't intentionally <laughs> cheat, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. Would you two like to go inside the cabin? Uh, absolutely, yeah. All right, I'm going to gather you up, and unless, Claudia, your screen's going to go dark, because I'm taking them inside the cabin. Enjoy All your right. rock, nightmare. <laughs> I am indecent, and my U-log is frosty. Yeah, let's pre just, just pretend we're not looking at each other's dicks. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> it's, it's difficult, I know. I will call out, Hi there, I'm Brandon Feimaster. Maybe. Are we still going? Are we still going in initiative order? No, no. There's no initiative. Order. Just go in and walk around. Do whatever you like to do. If you want to touch something, let me know what's around. All right. I'm gonna go grab that blanket off the bed. That's my new. Go robe. for it. Uh, Jorser runs right by all the chests of clothes and decides to grab <laughs> a. Uh, <laughs> he grabs a blanket and that is it. So cool. I'll leave it to. I will get some clothes. All right, uh, inside the cabin, uh, aside from the, you know, obviously the magical pictogram looking thing in the center of the floor, uh, the place is filled with food, uh, backpacks, equipment, uh, swords, daggers, uh, quarterstaffs, um, uh, certain like one chest seems to have a, a bunch of what appears to be like magical potions and a few extra trinkets and items. Uh, and All a letter I see on the is nerd shit and crutches for the week. And a, and a letter on the desk. I think we're done. Okay, well, I'll put on some underwear and nothing else. Okay. And I guess I might check out the letter on the desk. Okay. Are you going to share it with the group or you just want it to yourself? Uh, I'll read aloud. Uh, Brandon Firemaster strikes me as a read aloud kind of guy. Then I will share. Let me see. Edit. I will put it in everybody's journal. He just wants to show off that he can read. Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Say it's in everybody's journal. Now I will hit click show to players. And if you hit the little magnifying glass, it'll get bigger. And that is the letter you see. Uh, hey, guys, says to whoever you are, please forgive me. Know that I never meant to burden others with my troubles. But I saw no other way. I am a man of science and magic. Nerd. Not violence. A half day north is the village of Frostheim, a place of peaceful folk who are under constant attack from the giantess gorilla. And her minions. Oh, man, minions. Frostheim needs help. Please kill Gorilla. Bring me her head and her staff. Do so, and I can not only help Frostheim, but I will send you home. I know you cannot trust me, but I have to ask you for faith in something bigger than any of us. An ice day miracle, please. I don't really agree with it's bigger than any of us. I mean, maybe some of us. I rolled pretty well. <laughs> Does anybody know... Uh, Desenio Al Fool. Desmond Al Fool, but yes, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Name ring a bell? I know Desenio, but not Desmond. <laughs> uh, either roll me, roll me a history check or an Arcana check. Hmm. Whatever you feel more confident in. I have neither of those, but I'll give it a go on. Okay. I've got minus one on both of those suckers. Okay. Roll away. Well, you know nothing, Mr. <laughs> Thighmaster. What? No, nerd. Fucking nerd. That's all you heard. Out of all those words, nerd. Some nerd wants us to kill us a, a big lady. But, um, a lady named Gorilla. It might be Gorilla Gorilla. Gorilla. I, don't know, I don't spend a lot of time reading. I'm going to call her Gorilla. <laughs> I mean, as long as we're aiming to kill her, why be polite? That's true. I guess we can call her whatever we want. Okay, I know how dreams work. Uh, I'm going to sit here and wait until I turn into a bird, and then we'll just fly up. You sit down, and nothing really happens. You, you hear a rumble in your stomach as your abs demand sustenance. This dream is boring, and I need protein. All right, I'll check out the chest where the uh, the weapons of inferior people might All lie. right. 
Uh, inside, you find, I'll just be nice and say, because you've been around your magic stuff, so you find six uh, greater healing potions. Ooh, nice. You find an immovable rod. Uh, you find a set of plus one daggers. You find a plus one quarter staff. You find a wand of wonder. <laughs> and two oh vials. One uh, is a, <laughs> I know I'm going to stick with me, children. A milky white substance. Oh, no. <laughs> that's very viscous and appears to have three applications. A second vial, a also white substance, but smells a lot more like uh, rubbing alcohol. Also three applications. I've been around Klaus Richter long enough to know that this isn't jizz. I gotta apply uh, ten seasons of experience here. Wait a second, the DM didn't tell you that. I well, I like to think that I've earned this one. I can tell a jar of uh, half elf jizz from other substances. Gnome jizz. All I'm saying is I I want advantage on the roll if it comes to it. Claudia, do you want to stay where you're at? Do you want to walk inside the cabin as well? Um, she's cold, so she's gonna come in. Okay, I'll grab her and put her inside the cabin. One second. I'll look at my gnome friend in his bed sheet and say, you look more like the wand type. Am I right? Oh, me. Um, <laughs> you like what gnome? Yeah, like you gnome. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the quarterstaff. That looks okay. uh, kind of my speed. Got it. I'll take a couple of potions of great healing and uh, I'll let Did you say the other people. Daggers? Yes, a pair of plus one daggers. Oh, turtle beast. Yeah, please do come in. Make make everything uncomfortable. <laughs> that, that tall, naked turtle beast to you. <laughs> Those things are also quite uncomfortable. Please feel free to look into the clothes uh, in the chest that may hide your hideous visage. <laughs> you will find all standard gear, clothing, backpacks, rope, every, like just generic dungeoneering and adventuring gear, rations, all your fun stuff. As if someone said, I uh, was nice enough to set aside a supply of crap for would be adventurers. Oh, that was nice of him. Boots, underpants, quarter staff, and a couple of potions. That's all I need. There's even like a padded uh, 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 thong if you wanted to just really <laughs> accentuate everything. Whoa. With spikes on the front. Oh, man. I don't know if that's a little bit aggressive. Yeah, I'll wear that. There it is. Okay. <laughs> also, does the, the Jorcer, if he wants to, if he show him the potions, if he gives me an Ar Arcana roll, I might be able to help him out figure out what that stuff is. I have Arcana as a skill. Here it goes. Yes, you do. Oh, my. I think that was a natural 20. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Uh, sir, you are looking at... Um, what's known as sovereign glue, three doses, and three doses of universal solvent. Knowing that that glue, anything you glue something to stays, it takes a wish roll or a use of this particular solvent to unstick it. Oil slipperness will also work, but once that thing is glued down, it doesn't move again. Hmm. Okay. Well, three doses. What about the, uh, the universal solvent? Does that dissolve the glue? That, that will. That's one of three things that can dissolve the glue. Oil of slipperiness, universal solvent, and a wish spell. Whoa, the lamest use for a wish spell I've ever heard. So that is art. You know that is that that is an <laughs> artifact level uh, magic item. Okay. Uh, what are the What are the other? Uh, you said there are three applications for the universal solvent. For both. Oh, for yes, three three for the glue, three for the solvent. All right. So one is glue shit. Yep. What are the other two? Uh, the the solvent is the to unglue so, something that is stuck. I understand. All, uh, right, all right. So no, oh, okay. All right. No, three things that can. Okay. So not three different uses. No, I'm just saying, like with that Arcana roll, just filling it in for you. When it comes okay. to sovereign glue, there's only three things that can undo it. Oh, I can undo. Um, okay, I misunderstood. Yeah. I will say to him, uh, there seems to be an immovable rod here, but it looks yes. like we kind of both woke up with one. Maybe we should give that to the tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds fair. I assume you all have used an immovable rod in your playing your playing pass. Uh, I have not used it in my books. <laughs> it okay. It is a rod, uh, approximately like I don't know a meter long. Oh, nice. That, that uh, maybe a little less. And you basically click the button on the side, and it stays in place until you unclick it. It can hold like three thousand pounds of force. 
It's oh, just wow. a, it hold, it just sticks in air and just stays there. <clears throat> Do you shorties want me to carry the rod? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I wouldn't want you to feel left out. Go for it. Um, quick question about the, the glue. Yes. Um, if you, if I use some of it, does that mean I use the whole vial or can I use a no, partial there's, vial? No, there's three applications. Ah, that's the three applications. All right, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, yes. There's three applications of glue and three applications of solvent. Got it. Okay. I only took two of the healing potions, by the way. So if you guys want to take two each, you can do that. Or you can just hug all four when you, when you want to fight it out. I don't care. I'll take two. I'll take two. <clears throat> Claudia is eyeing the, the glue and the crystal in her hand. Um, she's trying really hard to refrain from using it. She wants to save the glue. You want to, you want to glue that thing to your hand, don't you? No, she wants to glue it to something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, she'll refrain. Well, that's, that's the whole point of it. Give kids some toys and see how long it takes them to play with it. No, waiting. Okay. All right, so, wait, Claudia, are you putting the glue in your inventory? Um... Yeah, okay. I can do that. Uh, Brandon, would you like the solvent? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you huff what you want to huff in your own time, man. <laughs> I don't want that shit. <laughs> okay, I will. As soon as I figure out how to put shit in my inventory, I will put that in there. Just because I'm in a new body doesn't mean I'm stuck kind of doing weird hobo habits. <laughs> <laughs> Universal yep. solvent. Got it. All right. That there you added. go. And you said there's a wand of wonder. Yes, there is. I shall see. Take because that. why not add a little chaos? Wonder. Why does that word suddenly fill me with dread? <laughs> let's see how many. <laughs> let's see how many charges it currently has. It has. It's one d six plus one per day. Four char for this day. It has four charges. Um. Okay. That's you can keep track of that. Well, as long as I'm magically dreaming, I'm probably not getting any real sleep, which I need to stay uh, more attractive than you guys. Uh, I have a feeling if we go kill this giant lady, then uh, maybe I'll wake up and not have to look at you anymore. <coughs> Rude. I don't have to be polite to you. You're a figment of my imagination. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm going to just lie in the bed until they decide what they want to do. Okay. Find new ways, new ways of pleasuring yourself with mage hand yet? I, I, you know, that's for when I my other hands are doing something else. Oh, that makes <laughs> sense. Okay. Hey, I'm just checking, man. You're the sorcerer, and I don't want I don't want your fans to be disappointed. He's got two perfectly good sorcerer hands. <laughs> then what pokes you in the butt? <laughs> oh, you're right. The possibilities are endless. Should we be examining this nerd shit on the floor? Is anyone else interested in this? I'm. Oh yeah, I forgot this. that was there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Anybody skilled in any kind of arcana can give me a roll. I suppose I shall rouse myself out of bed. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a check. You're speaking. You are you. You're Steve. The the, the accent's so <laughs> spot on. I, I can't tell. <laughs> arcana once again. Ten. Ten. It's magic. Uh. Uh, best you can tell with that with that role, it's like well, it's some kind of it's it's a summoning, and for some reason, this is what I get for assuming anyone in a robe is a magician. And it has it has something to do it has little slight variations with druidic magic. Ooh, it is a blanket, sir, and you saw me take it from the bed. <laughs> Have you even put pants on? Or you just wearing the blanket? Just the blanket. All right, just like just my just, wonder must okay. breathe. All right, are you putting a hole through it so you can put your head like a like a sarape, like certain characters? Or are you just nah, going off the just okay, just wrapping Got it. around? All right, so your armor class is effectively just a ten plus your dex then. Yes. Got it. All right, I, I shall share my vast knowledge of 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 these arcane markings with my companions. Oh, man, this dream is boring. <laughs> Oh, the sorry, the turtle monster and the and the tiny big dick uh, 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 gnome aren't enough for you. <laughs> My son is an egg monster. <laughs> I see weird in this shit. I'll say this speaks more to the dreamer, not the dream, sir. <laughs> so, so um, Claudia wasn't paying attention as usual, and she came in late. 
um, she's going to ask, should, are we supposed to stand in this circle thing? Is this like a, a is this going to send us somewhere? Well, I guess anywhere's better than here. <laughs> we said something about a gorilla, you know, whatever. Yeah, Let's the letter said the, the town, the village is half a day north, but uh, maybe this will take us there faster. I say we jump in. I also kind of got the impression that the writer of that note may have killed themselves. <laughs> and they may have done it with a magical circle. I don't know. Yeah, but, but this is a dream, so, you know. Yeah, that's it, true. It, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's ga gather around this either death or fast travel circle. All right, jumping in. Woohoo! Blanket <laughs> dick. Make it work. <laughs> All right, you jump into the circle. Whoosh. And uh, the words of George for the sources, it's a summoning, not a transportation circle. It pulls something to this plane of being. Oh. Well, I'm out of ideas. Now, Brandon, give me, do me a favor. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Everyone. Perception. Yep. Perception. 11. Well, as long as you're above a 10, I'll let you know that, like, those nice fucking boots that were left beside are made for walking. That you all found. Oh, except for Natural Jorster. One. Fuck those boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a blanket. I'm good. <laughs> those boots that they left behind were made for walking. Okay. Well, I'll add a cape to my uh, boots and s spiked crutch <laughs> ensemble. <laughs> All I know is you have your next uh, uh, cosplay for the con, because... <laughs> Looks like we're walking. Like chumps. <laughs> I'm just going to send you the next map anyway. It was more fun this way. <laughs> <laughs> would, would anyone care to share the boot information with me? <laughs> like a day, you're going to need free boots. Oh, my. <laughs> and a or, sock. Or some pants, I guess. My, I don't know. My toes are indecent. Maybe I put a sock on that thing, so... Yeah, that's going to be dragging in the snow. I can imagine that's not going to go well. <laughs> also, you'll make it easier for people to track us. There are several practical reasons why you should put some pants on. But I'm not your mum. Do what you like. All right, so, Jorcer, do you want to put some shoes on? Or are you just, or you want to go just, just keep the blanket and that's it? No, shoes are fine. Uh, no pants. That, not a problem. You want a shirt? No, no I, I have a blanket. Okay, well, I mean, it's you don't have a clothespin, or do you just tie it in a knot like Superman so everything's open and flapping in the beginning? What are you doing? I'm just holding it around me like, you know, like a person does <laughs> yeah, with Yeah, I get it. No, I, 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 <laughs> I, I got, got some glue. I got some glue. <laughs> That's a great use. All right. Uh, I assume you guys are going to walk... Uh, you want to start walking north towards the town that the letter re referenced. Yeah. yeah. Just right, quick please. question. Is it... What? Is it downhill at all uh you know parts of it could be do you want a sled um well Ooh. i mean she has she has a shell we could surf a turtle. <laughs> you know what for the flavor text of this yeah yeah it is it, you've got to what you've got to walk up like a couple of miles up but then you reach the top of this one peak and you look down you see this little little village nestled at the bottom of a hill and sure as shit that is a straight shot down wouldn't it be a lot of fun now do you want to let anybody you want to go by yourself or you want to let other people like surf down on you no 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 she's she's gonna well i must she put on i'm gonna say she put on some pants and boots and a shirt so sure. she's gonna pat her belly and say hey let's go it's not weird if you're wearing a shirt <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like, it looks like you just have a big hunchback now and a <laughs> grotesque reptilian face. All right, All right, cool. So, Brandon, you can surf her and hold me up like baby Simba, and I will open my blanket on the way down. <laughs> you know what? I want to see this for real sake. Claudia, you don't have to do much. If you're just going down, like they will ride on top of you. Brandon, give me an acrobatics check to stay on top of them and an athletics check to maintain the sorcerer opening. <laughs> I'm not sure I can send it to that last part yet, but sure. Why? All right, so acrobatics, you have, is that, why do you always roll two? Oh, because you have a, a, a advantage. So natural, t or so you have a 20. Easy. You surf this, you surf this, this. Natural uh, turtle surfer. Now, give me an athletics check to make sure you actually hold on to the surf. All right, t it's, it's a tiny gnome. It's not hard to hang on to. And his cloak opens and is just flapping in the breeze and it might smack you in the face once or twice, so. Oh, invigorating. 
<laughs> Hello, <laughs> villagers. Like, right. <laughs> we look magnificent. Someone just got to do fan art of that. I'm literally like, I want to see Claudia going down the hill, Brandon holding up baby Simba, and the dick just smacking Brandon in the eye. Like, just one eye. <laughs> no. I'm so glad this isn't my body. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd never stop boiling my face. I'm putting you guys on a new map. You will be at the bottom left-hand corner when that happens. Welcome to Frost Time. It's a good thing there are a lot of people here to, to see us come into town. Yeah, several of them are just watching you. Absolutely, as they should be. Let's see if we can end this with a flourish. Can I kick flip this tool? Uh, give me an <laughs> athletics check. Athletics or acrobatics? Your, your call, whichever you feel more comfortable with. I don't know. In real life, I'm not much of a skater. I might be a, a shock to some of our listeners. I, yeah, acrobatics, surely. But your, your skateboard is sentient. Yeah, you kind of like, so, uh, Claudia, if you don't allow this, give me a, give me a contested athletics or acrobatics check, your choice. A kickflip? Um, no, I'm allowing it. Okay. It's going to be well, awesome. Well, it's a, a 13, is, it was more of an ollie. You know, you didn't get, mm. a kickflip is a very difficult, because I did used to skate back in the day, and it's hard as shit to pull off. So you did more of like an ollie over a mogul, uh, land. Now, let's see if you hang on to the, uh, Jorcer, give me an, uh, uh, an athletics roll to make sure you don't drop the Jorcer. Wait. Jorcer do that or Brandon do that? No, Brandon's still holding you. Right. No, I want to, I want to throw uh Jorcer. <laughs> okay, I, then I assume he's gonna make his own entrance too. Okay, well then give me an athletics roll to see how I far just you did. Seven. Seven. Oh <laughs> not <laughs> very far. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of roll do I have to make? Uh give me an acrobatics roll to give me an acrobatics roll to see how you how will you pull off because you weren't chucked very far. At this point, it's a roll not to land on your face. All right, seventeen. You know what? You Willy Wonka that motherfucker. <laughs> you went. You you did flip upright, hands in the air, and now for the dismount. It looks it looks sweet. <laughs> People actually start applauding. Everybody, meet your new heroes: the handsome elf man, turtle beast, and dick baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look, you you get what you're given. She walks up. She's like, she, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to Frost Time. Who are you? And <laughs> I think I just introduced Why is that. his dick, why is his dick out? Uh, well, there are a lot of very fair questions there, which that, I do not intend his, to answer. That's his immovable rod. He's, he's good. I, I know what these are now. Oh my, she says. <laughs> well, welcome to Frost Time. Um, you know, she it's you know it's getting in the evening time, so she's like, uh, uh, "Feel free to stay at our inn." Uh, it, um, well, it, she's very confused because, like, you know, it's not so much about the uh, the elf or the, or the gnome. The turtles kind of giving her a, a a second look, but she's like, "All are welcome here. Just remain peaceful." And uh, yeah, and she just kind of goes back up this way. So. I'll whisper to her, it's okay, none of us really exist. Except me. <laughs> Not even you. <laughs> uh, as you enter the town, I'll pull you up on the map because you guys don't tend to walk around. So you come into frost time. And as you came in, you'll see you guys up at the top of the hill, there's some, uh, you know, some winter fields in the in the far reaches. You know, the main homes here, like it seems to be a mayor's home, a very large inn. We hear a lot of noise and raucous laughter. But aside from the laughter of the inn, most people seem to have like a sad, like like, like a, a, a trudging, beaten down kind of expression. Like they've been experiencing some uh, major grief recently. So. This village sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk about a downer. Uh, I will get to a high place and flex. Uh, top of the, you can go on top of the, uh, the village well there if you want. Yeah, sure. It sounds like a people. All right, put you up on top. Congregating well. place. There you go. That always does well. Give me a performance check. I get advantage on performance okay. if I'm not wearing a shirt, which I definitely am not. Okay. Oh, just as Oof. well. 18. Uh, okay, 18. I was like, yeah, because you have a natural one and an 18. All right. <laughs> uh, due to the cold and the erectness of your nipples um, and the way the snow is coming down onto them, people just stop and stare. You're like a living statue. And they are they are in awe. And some of them actually want to applaud. The centaur over here starts to uh, clamp his back hoof, you know, in, a, in amusement. The uh, 
Have you ever seen a hair gone? It's basically a human rabbit hybrid. He just his ears no. twitch and he nods. Is this the natural enemy of the turtle? I thought that was the guy from Lord of the <laughs> oh, Rings. Oh, he's definitely shooting some eyes at uh, Claudia, and not 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 in the nice way. Racist. Look, <laughs> <laughs> she says, and <laughs> goes over. She's like, oh, you want a race, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we'll bring it, mother. I mean, did you just see me come down that hill? Yeah. It wasn't that impressive. I could do better. Um, Attention, villagers. We're here to improve your miserable lives. I offer to ride the rabbit person down the hill. Not like that. Give me a uh, persuasion check. (laughs) Oh, that's another one of the skills I have proficiency in. I can be very persuasive. Oh, my God. (laughs) How about a natural 20? (laughs) Let's fucking do this. Like he just <laughs> he grabs you, this surprisingly strong rabbit, puts you on his back. He drops his weapon and just scurries up that hill like a breakneck speed. It's like, are you ready? We're doing this, right? All you right. You and me. All, All right. right. I'm you on? opening my rope right. again. Open your rope now. I got I got I got a naturally fuzzy butt, so stick on. So he he goes <laughs> on. He like lays on his stomach and goes forward with his ears back. Total, get up there. We're about to rewrite some parables. <laughs> <laughs> are you yeah, up okay. for it? Yeah. Are right, oh, you want you want to try racing him? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, who's 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 riding you? Well, Brandon. Okay. Here's Let's what we're gonna this. do. We're gonna do Sorry, this, villagers, so. your problems can wait. Oh no, they're this is the most entertainment they've seen in forever. They're actually very happy. Um, all right, so here's how we're gonna do this. Uh, I want you to give me just a straight up, uh, give me a Constitution saving throw because you've already gone down the snow once. Okay. And the rabbit's gonna do the same thing. Okay, yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. I'm gonna roll off this, and the rabbit's got a plus three to his con, so D, uh, fourteen. So, your neck and neck, so you both rely a stable base. Okay, now, Jorcerer and Brandon, I want you both to give me uh, acrobatics rolls. Uh, <laughs> hey. Athletics or acrobatics, whatever you feel better at on uh, standing on top of this guy. Certainly acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. Natural 20. Oh, holy shit. Okay, well, you're Thanks. on there, so you're good. You do not fall. And you, 16 for me. You don't. It's only 15 to stay stable, so you, both of you oh. are remarkably stable. Brandon looks good doing it, though. All right, so Absolutely. the first the the first neck of this thing is you're going down your neck and neck, the top of the hill. It is you are look, hey, Claudia. You look over and that and that rabbit's glaring back at you like, bring it. <laughs> All right, give, but now you got another guy standing on top of you. You've done this before, so give me another Constitution saving throw, Claudia. Okay. Oh, natural twenty. You are you are the perfect uh, boogie board. Okay, what does he got? What does he got going? D twenty plus three. Not the first three, time I've heard that. Twenty, again. <laughs> He rolls a twenty, so he's looking. He, he looks over at you, and it is you, you're better, but he ain't he ain't wavering. Again, the eye master and Jorcer, give me acrobatics or athletics, your choice to stay on top of it. Move your fuzzy butthole. Those villagers better be placing bets. Oh, you can see him down there. This guy down here, the one that says Mench. Yeah, he is just place your bets, place your bets. Okay, acrobatics. So eleven is Ooh, eleven. Okay, Ooh, nine for me. Both of you go tumbling off. Ah, oh, shucks. But it's now to the last bit of the race. So, Claudia and uh, the rabbit, both of you, you, you don't need constitution checks now. I want you to give me just straight up uh, uh, acrobatics or athletics, your choice. So, like, you're just going into, like, full, like, arms back, head forward. You're trying to cross the finish line first. 13. Okay, he gets a plus three to his acrobatics. So, let's see here. D20. Oh, 14. Um, it's not that big a difference in that huge thing. You basically tie. Now he's trying to put one ear across the line ahead of you, but you, you basically tied. I am <laughs> not sure what the moral of this story is, but I had a good time. Well, I know. So you, now, you two kind of snowballed down the hill. Like, you fell off, and now you guys are tumbling down the hill, snowballing like, a, well, a giant snowball. Oh, my! What did I learn from this? Yeah. <laughs> Poof. I guess I guess we all win. <laughs> Everybody's a winner slash loser. <laughs> it's a nice day. Story. All right, uh, frost uh, uh, frost nip is setting in. We'll say that it's not frostbite yet, but definitely frost nip. Would you guys like to go inside the inn and the uh, the tavern and warm up a little bit? 
Let's do that. Let's I'm go covered in a giant ball of snow. I think <laughs> I think it's fair to say it's a bite. Um, <laughs> yes, I would like to warm my cockles. All right, I'll take you guys over to that map. One second. I imagine the the tip of <laughs> It's just the, is just the tip, you know, like Frosty's nose. Oh no, it's like it's in the snow. That's what the problem was. Like that's what ground him to a halt. Was like you know because his dick was like a rudder. <laughs> in the snow. He breaks. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he, he, he just veered left and right. All right, welcome, welcome to the Wayward Inn. You ain't kidding. Loud, loud noises. I mean, here's the thing. People here. Some people are trying to be happy. Some people are trying to drink to forget. And definitely got some. Uh, some folks who are like, you look around and like, there are troubles have been happening to this village, obviously. Uh, and they're tr doing their best to like, try to like commiserate amongst peers, family and friends. Uh, feel free to mingle, do whatever you like, ask whatever you want. Uh, I'll roll Jaw Sorrow over to the bar. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I, can I not break out of the snow? <laughs> <laughs> I probably not. I guess. Well, by the time you Wait. get to the inn, I'm going to say you've you've stomped off your your boots and you are you I mean, are most snow free. Brandon did a big snowball too. Yeah, but I'm not three feet high. <laughs> but he's also very muscular. He just kind of flexes and it falls off. You have, however, have a snow encrusted blanket that is actually more damaging to you than helpful at this point. <laughs> well, I uh, I shall acquire a drink and go sit by the hearth. All right. Well, I mean. You guys can grab your characters and just move around the bar. I can see you. Yeah, so. um, I will. I'll ask for it. I don't have any money. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we just entertained them so much. I will yeah. say, how about this? For the sake for the sake of retcon, there was like there was some gold back at the place. Like, you know, like I said, it's starting Travelers Adventures gear. So you have at least, everyone's got at least like 10 to 20 gold on each other. So you can... No, I, I, I think the total's got a point. We are the most interesting thing to happen to you people in forever. Give me a free drink, please. Right? Uh, the bartender. I don't see a hearth here. Somebody lit something on fire. Uh, the place is warm. It's natural. So, uh, you want to go up to the bar? Here, I'll put you up by the. I'll put you. I'll put you on this. I'll put stage on that table by the bar to start with, or wherever you want to go. Uh, good evening, folks. My name is Edward. How, what, what will you have to drink? Ooh, I guess something warm. Hot chocolate with some alcohol in it. Yeah, perfect. Sounds ideal. How special are you doing these winter months? So he goes over and pours like an alcoholic. Now, do you want? Whiskey or, or, uh, or peppermint schnapps? Ooh, peppermint, please. All right, um, doubles all the way yeah, around. Yes. <laughs> all right, triples, all right. He brings over three mugs again. Again, my name is Edward. If you need anything, just feel free to ask. And you all are? Uh, drinking this drink. Behold my wonder. I am Jorcer the Sorcerer. I'm the man who is having this hallucination, Brandon Flymaster. <laughs> you probably heard me. I don't look my best at the moment. Uh, hey, Jorcer, the moment you say that, this big centaur walks up behind you and says, Hey, bro, what's your fucking problem? Hey, I have no problems. No, As seriously, that's not cool, bro, okay? Look at my wonder. It's not... I, no, I am bereft I of your, problems. I don't, care, I don't care about your fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, you do. <gasps> oh, my. No, I th you think you're funny saying that? Like, what, is this a joke to you? Cotty's going to wander over to the centaur. Dude, seeing how they're both animals, she will uh, bat, <laughs> oh, <laughs> bat her eyes, bat her eyes at him, and and say, um, "Is there a zoo in town?" No, oh, no, no. I'm not talking about that. It's about his fucking name. I don't appreciate people making fun of my fucking name. Okay, especially this <laughs> dick. <laughs> What's his name? Are you, are you Jorcer or the Horser? No, I'm <laughs> Brentar the Centaur, and I know this guy's <laughs> fucking with me. Oh, if right. you look down at the character, you will see his nameplate is Brentar the Centaur. Brentar the Centaur. I'm still going to call him George or the Horse. <laughs> <laughs> like his girlfriend comes over. Hey, Brent, come on. It's not funny anymore. We're not, they're not making fun of your name. All right. Come on. Like, no, this guy's fucking with me. Everybody fucks with me. Me and Kentar and my sister <laughs> Gentar. We weren't nope. making fun of you, but well, now, now we, we are. are. <laughs> no, one, no one makes my, my fucking brother Paul. But it's always us. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck you. He, he walks away. He pissed off, you know. And like the the girl's like, I, I'm I'm sorry. He's sensitive about his name. So who are you, hell friend to girlfriend? <laughs> to be fair, it is stupid. <laughs> this other gnome comes up and is like, uh, yeah, I've got this. I'm sorry. You know, 
go. And she's like, fuck off, Grundle, and like horse kicks this gnome halfway across the thing. And everybody starts oh laughing God. and pointing at him. Oh, shit. Ow. God damn it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and this little gnome just hits the deck and he's just hurting. And everybody's just got, everybody is just points and laughs at this guy. Because you can tell that, like, you get the vibe that he's the he's the village idiot, essentially. Oh. Hey, hey, George, there's there's one of your kind right there. The guy that just got kicked across the room. Yeah, an idiot. <laughs> an idiot. Oh, fuck. Oh. And he sits up and he's he. Uh, I'm. He comes back over. I'm sorry that everybody's an asshole. I saw your race outside. It was pretty good. Um. <laughs> pretty good. Come on. Wait, everybody. that's unlike anything this guy's ever seen in his life. <laughs> I've seen I've seen some shit. Hi, I'm, <laughs> my name's my name's Grundle Underjunk. How are you doing? Underjunk. <laughs> oh, sorry. Should Man, this is a, it's, it's from a, the it's a, a proud tree. gnomish name. He's right. I actually I speak gnomish. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'll I'll say some gnomish things to him. Are you going to say no more? Exactly. Oh, and he comes over and he slaps him like, "Oh, you are a specimen, aren't you? My God, look at you. You're beautiful." Please don't touch me. I'm not going to touch you, but can I admire you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh my god! In fact, I want to. I will. Can I address the rest of the bar? You're all. F feel free to admire me. This is. This is. It might be weird, but can I draw you? You may touch me. Okay. Walks up. Where do you want it? <laughs> that was easy. I guess we'll see you later. This commoner just kind of goes, moves over, gives you guys some space. <laughs> they all start moving down a little bit. I'm on, I'm on this guy's table where he was drinking. <laughs> He yeah, he just slides his drink. It's away. yours now, so ah, uh, uh, please feel ha have a seat, and you know, uh, sorry, welcome to Frostheim. <laughs> oh man, I need to wake up. And uh, people start giving you guys your start, they start giving you your space. You know, the, the the entertainment was nice, but Brentar the centaur, everybody he's a dick, and everybody knows it, so they kind of like just. But everybody, apparently, nobody likes Grundle under junk. So um, yeah, this do, is gonna. Go ahead. You do any of these do any of these people look rich? No, they don't. Oh, son of okay. This Grundle like under junk sounds like when you've been sitting all day in like <laughs> you know. Yeah, I haven't heard that before. Tutor. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. I are you named after it's, that condition? It's a proud gnomish name, but no, to the to the Hubies around here, apparently it's a fucking joke, and they all point and laugh and fuck you, Grundle. Everybody wow. in this place is sensitive about their names. Well, I'm not, but he was like, you know, Mr. Muscles over there is pointing at me. It's not nice. Uh, you're right. I shouldn't be rude to you just because you don't exist. <laughs> That's, you know what? That is philosophically fair. Now, um, I actually happen to be a pretty smart guy. And I got a quick question for you. Um, come out of the ground recently? He kind of whispers it to you guys. Always. I, don't... It, I, think, I think we're part of a secret underground movement here. So uh, tread carefully. You, I think you literally came out of the ground, didn't you? Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Master Desmond's up to his things again, isn't he? All right. What does he what does he want you to do? We left as a note. Oh, he might be dead, by the way. No, he li he's the he's kinda like the only wealthy guy. He's like the lord of this of this land. He lives up on the mountain. Not the mountain, but like the hill to the uh uh to the east. There's a big manor up there. Uh, that's where he lives. He's kind of like, he messes around with a lot of uh, weird magics and things like that. And uh, I'm, I kind of build a lot of equipment for him. And he said he's working on an experiment that uh, might bring visitors. And he's kind of looking around. He's like trying to like, he's trying like hell to be on the, on the sly and failing miserably. But everybody just kind of treats Grundle like shit anyway. So they just ignore half the shit he says. So. Oh, you think uh, he might have summoned us here? Um, uh, yeah. What does he want you to? What does he want you to do? Did he leave you a note like the last group? Oh yeah, got to beat up some giant lady. I don't know. Get head. Wait a minute, not wait a minute. Giant lady. Who? Get head from a giantess. I'm pretty sure that's what the note said. <laughs> wait a minute. It, it's not Gryla, is it? Now, normally I uh, I adhere to a strict vow of celibacy. But I don't think I'm technically me, so I'm not sure how this works. Oh, if it's, you're not you, then feel there's rooms in the back specifically for that. In fact, several of the people here are working prostitutes. Okay, well, I don't know. I need to work this out. I mean, I'm not me. This seems like a pretty good loner body. I've been a cat before. Was I me then? Man, 
this universe is fucking weird. Uh, I mean, even though he's an asshole, Brentar is a, is a male prostitute. Uh, his girlfriend Thura is a prostitute. Lucinda down there is a prostitute. The okay, Rabbit who in a... this town isn't a prostitute? I mean, you don't aren't see, we all? You don't see a lot of hands level. go up. I mean, like, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only currency of this town. Just everybody is fucking each Basically, other. it's whoring. I mean, they have entire rooms in the back. If you scroll to the top of the map, like, there's a big bear screen run room specifically for that act. Well, you know what? It's cold. You're in the mountains. Probably nothing to do till spring. <laughs> I, no judgment Claudia, here. Claudia is very disappointed. This is not the kind of currency she can pickpocket. I mean, you can, but it's going to be sticky. I'm t- yeah, oh, I'm taking that dick. I'm taking it with me. <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> um, so so this Arsenio guy. Uh, does- Arsenio? Uh, Desmond? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does, does his, um, does he have a wife or girlfriend, perhaps, who's a little, um, Simeon? I... <laughs> Uh, wait, no, no. Right. Does he have a really ugly wife? No, he's a he's a bachelor. He said the giant, and the only giantess around here is Gryla, Gryla, and her thirteen uh, children. Oh, Oof. I know I'm not supposed to touch Brandon, but um, Claudia's going to elbow him and, and say, "I I think that's the person we need." I say, "You might be right. Don't touch me." <laughs> okay, so get ahead from Gryla. Get Gryla's head. Oh, oh, was he working on that? And her 13 kids. That's disgusting. Yeah, Desmond's a weird dude. They're not his kids. Oh, my God. Did he summon idiots? It doesn't matter. Okay. um, I mean. If you're the one. Okay, listen. Sometimes he reaches across realms of being and he pulls in people. And then he sends them on the way once their task is complete. So you're not the first. You won't be the last. So if he's got a task for you, you're not leaving until you get this job done. I still think this is a dream. We must give the gorilla some head. Uh, well, uh, Gryla is pretty easy to find. Go to uh, the Northeast Passage, uh, and she has taken up residence. And uh, there's an old former uh, dwarven uh, burial crypt up in the mountains. I've got to say, she's got 13 kids. We just look for the nearest Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that is, but okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm immersive at the moment. Ah, uh, so yeah, uh, Gryla the Northeast, pretty pretty quick to spot. Um, it's, it's it's only like a day or so wide, but they've been raiding. If you could kill Gryla, okay. He looks around, he's like, have you noticed the lack of children running around? Gryla's been stealing these people's kids. Oh, and, and any any villagers who who dare to wander too far away at night, like. She's been abducting people and children and eating them, basically. Sometimes they find their bones at the bottom of the hill. Uh, so you'd actually be doing a great favor to this town if you could kill her. But unfortunately, Brentar is the only... Fuck you! He crawls across the face. <laughs> Fuck off, Brent! Uh, he's like the only guy who thinks he knows how to fight, and he's not very good at it. He just likes to beat up on them. So there are no warriors in this town. No, everyone's too busy fucking trying to replace their eaten children, I guess. You caught that, did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard life. I mean, you know, what with like, you know, wolves and coyotes and, you know, you know, just sudden, you know, baby sickness. So yeah, uh, they make a lot of babies here. Well, good luck to him. All I want to do is not be here anymore. Uh, then I think you have to kill Gryla and bring her ahead. Is that all you need to bring back? Uh, you know, I can't really remember the note and I didn't take it's it in, with me. You did. It's in your inventory. Oh, Okay. In the top, in the top of your uh, thing, and there should be like a handouts thing. Let me re- yeah, be- let me reread the note. It says mysterious note in cabin. You should still have it. And I will yeah, put it on the. Yeah, I'll yeah. put it on the channel. I'll put it on the page for everybody to see. Show to players. Yeah, we don't need. Uh, we don't need the rest of her body. We do need her staff. So I guess anyone she employs. <laughs> <laughs> Like maids, I don't know. Gonna need a bigger bag. I think those thirteen kids. You know, Brandon, you're the only parent among us. Do you? Maybe, maybe you should care harder about this for the rest of us. Oh, I'm still not convinced any of this is real. But um, if you want me to pretend to care, I absolutely can. Okay, set. We need to save those probably fictional kids. Uh, they're her minions. They will definitely they're attack you. They're her staff. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we need no, to save she some children. The staff. 
no, kill she other children. <laughs> she carries a staff and she has 13 million children. Oh. All right, let's go beat up some kids. Decapitate <laughs> their mom. Do you want to spend the night first or are you just going to march off in the, in the darkness? Oh, you're right. We could probably march off into the daylight. I don't know. Can I mean, I it doesn't get. Sleep? Here's the thing it's wintertime. There's not much sun here. Every map is dark blue. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried to go to sleep in a dream. Will I incept myself? Probably. Jorcer, do you have an answer for that? <laughs> Somebody give me <laughs> an ice day you. dreidel, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you guys want, uh, okay, do you want separate rooms or one big room? Absolutely separate rooms. Okay, who wants the big room by themselves? Um, if that's a real bear rug in it, I'm going to be horrified. Um, it is definitely a, a real bear rug in, oh, in it. I want that room and I'm taking it with me. Okay, there you go. You're in that room. You two are... Do I have rooms? Well, you, have, you guys get the common room. Can I upgrade okay. my clothing? Okay. We're going to tell stories. We're going to make popcorn. We're going to do each other's nails. You it's were going to awesome. stay in the farthest corner he, away. He puts you there. He goes up to the blue one. <laughs> yeah. Or do you want to be on the rug or do you want to be on the bed there, Jorcer? You were going to please stop talking out of your nightmare face. I'm going to wear the rug and sleep in the Okay. Bed. That rug is, by the way, is gigantic and you're three feet tall. So this is going to be fucking fun. Yeah. That, well, every square is warm. five feet. So it's it's like nine, 10, 15, <laughs> 16, 17. That's, that's about a 17 foot rug. So. I have a, I have a per se, persuasion skill. I'm going to have to say when I'm leaving, I, I walked in with this. <laughs> okay well we will attempt that so you guys get a full night's rest if you want unless you want some role playing to do no just so sort of staring at the turtle beast till it sleeps got it then I will sleep yeah okay. I think he told me to shut up so I'll okay. try to sleep alright uh, I can take a hint not a problem alright so <laughs> you drift off and Brandon you wake up and you're not where you used to be. You're still an elf in this godforsaken cold place with your spiky uh, uh, dick underwear. Oh, I mean, some of this is okay, but a lot of it is not. <laughs> Jorcer, you wake up and your eyeball on that bear rug. Is, so when the time comes, give I'm me... I'm wearing it. I'm, yep, you wear it. You wrap it around yourself many, 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 many times. It's a tiny little feet out of a giant uh, bear hat. <laughs> Claudia's going to give you some strange looks. It's like, well, well one I'm, of us has to change. In a different room. Well, you're going to see each other when you walk out. Ah, so, all right. So, do me a favor, and uh, I'll let you say I gave you some time to like you, you're pondering how you're going to do this. So, give me a persuasion roll with advantage, and tell me what line you're going to say to the innkeeper to steal this bear rug. Ah, oh, my bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already told you my line. I walked in with this. Okay, All give right. me a persuasion uh, roll with advantage. Persuasion. I just roll it twice? Yeah. It, it, technically, if you hold the shift button down, it'll uh, give you, right. it'll automatically do advantage. Well, there's. All right, so roll it again. Yeah, so. Right. And 18's so not 18. bad. Okay. Now, would you rather do the persuasion or. or uh, oh, it doesn't matter. He's gonna, now, he's going to roll uh, a, de a deception check, basically, to see if you're full of shit or insight. <laughs> So he's a he's a barkeep, standard guy. He's got so I'm gonna give him a plus two to his insight. Okay, so D twenty plus two. Sure as shit, he's like, I I guess I saw, there was a lot of people last night. I guess that's. <laughs> he's like, buddy, I make minimum but that's wage. Too big for <laughs> fuck it. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. It's it, I didn't even kill it. It came. We, we it was here when we got the place. Go ahead. So you managed <laughs> to was, abscond was, with a. It was certainly not. <laughs> You managed to abscond with a giant 17-foot uh, <laughs> dire bear skin rug. Awesome. I shall. Uh, I while wearing that, inventory. I'll give you... It, it, it counts as hide armor if you want, so I think it bumps you up to a minimum of 14. Nice. <laughs> I, and, I don't know if you know this, but Claudia was raised by bears. Um... Is Claudia going to explain that? Going... Is this turtle one... going to explain to us it's got bear parents? Barents? Barents. Barents stain? 
Um, yeah, but she, she's going to surreptitiously be trying to figure out if she recognizes it, the the bear from the rug. Uh, give me an investigation roll. To okay. make your pun work, I shall stay in this rug. There it is. <laughs> you do not know this bear. In fact, this bear is not from the same plane of being that you are from, so you have no fam- familial ties with this bear whatsoever. Your conscience is right. clear. We're good. Proceed. Uh. <laughs> I'm glad my companion Klaus isn't in this dream. He would freak the fuck out. Whenever, right. whenever I, I see a person wearing human skin, I always say, oh, am I related to that guy? No? All right. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys gather up. I'm going to put you all in the same bed together. <gasps> now, to just, so I can, just so I can take you to the next map. The shame. So... Uh, you march out of town and you start heading the way that Grundle told you uh, to the northeast and past the village, past the uh, the, the, the fields. They're all covered in snow. Uh, you will be at the bottom of this map. But as you start walking, and it's still the fresh, chilly morning, you start hearing the rhythmic sounds of flesh on flesh. Then you start hearing oh cheering sounds. Like, but like tiny high pitch, like, yay. Oh my God. That's so good. You know, like really like it's like the, 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 the lollipop guild cheering. Every time I make love. <laughs> okay. As you come across the scene, like I said, you, uh, you hear the sounds of applause and the rhythmic sounds of flesh on flesh. As your group slowly starts to approach, you see what appears to be like a stone henge like structure with Pixie sitting around watching an elf. And a really weird looking hag get down. Oh my. What would you like what would you like to do? <laughs> this is not what I expected. This is a true horror show. <laughs> it's a nice day, horror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Everybody seems to be consensually enjoying this atrocity. Um All the one of the pixies notices you and like interloper. And they all <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm the interloper. <laughs> and all the pixies take flight and leave. No, you don't get to make this weird. You were already <laughs> making this weird. <laughs> right, the, well, the, male, the male from behind looks at you and is like, Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. Did he, is he, is, did he stop the action? No, oh, no, he's still going. All right, well, then I <laughs> shall pleasure myself. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's, yeah, I'm not standing here. The the, the, <laughs> uh, the female hag. I'll show you what she looks like. Uh, that's what she looks like. Oh, step hag! What are you doing? That presents a challenge, <laughs> but I shall overcome. And this is the guy. Ah, he'll do. He, you can let's see that expression on his face. <laughs> and uh, and the and the female hag. She's like, I, I don't want you to stop, but someone has to tell mom that we've got people coming. Oh, oh all right. that helps. You know what? My erection's back. <laughs> So no matter what plane of existence I go to, I just cannot escape a masturbating companion. You know what? Uh, sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Is this where you want to tune in next time, or do you want to keep on going? Yeah, no, let's, let's end it here. Okay. How about this? Disgusting note. <laughs> tune in next time for the concluding, uh, well, I guess, to watch a, a half-elf fuck a hag while a gnome masturbates. Oh, I love this podcast. <laughs> I wrote it just for you guys. <laughs> yeah, join us uh, next time for part two of uh, Claudia's totally awesome holiday adventure. <laughs> we're calling this. You know what? That sticks. I love that one. Uh, oh. Bye bye. Bye bye, friends. Bye. Authors and Dragons is brought to you under a Creative Commons license, meaning you are free to share this material so long as credit is given to those who created it, which is us, the people you just heard play the game. Opening and closing themes performed by the Gore Core 4. Authors and Dragons! Authors and Dragons! Everybody, meet your new heroes. Handsome elf man, turtle beast, and dick baby.